For this part, we need to go back to our famous drawings, diagrams. I will explain how this signal cable works. This cable is constantly powered by the line and neutral. We will use colors that we can understand better. We will use the color blue to talk about the neutral. And what else will we find? The famous optocouplers. We go to the indoor unit. These are a rather rustic diagram, but that's how it works and that's how you're going to understand it well and know why the data appears as it appears and also understand how important it is that the parts are in good condition. Now I'll explain what I mean. What we are drawing here are the optocouplers with the four optocouplers. One LED on one side, one receiver on the other. LED receiver, LED receiver. We will write or draw and read the line. Perfect. The electrons will always enter from the neutral side and we will find diodes that will let us only pass one way because this is alternating current. Each time I make a voltage derivation through the optocoupler, that voltage will go away and this light will turn off. What does that mean? When the microprocessor, the integrated circuit of the outdoor unit, turns on the LED, the electrons go away and this LED turns off, producing a pulse which, on the other side, in the circuit that works with 5V, this is from the indoor unit, the circuit will understand. The outdoor unit turns on the LED, the electrons are derived, the signal cable loses voltage, the LED of the indoor unit turns off and the receiver receives that pulse and the microprocessor, integrated circuit, understands it. This is how the outdoor unit communicates with the indoor unit. If we want to communicate the other way, from the indoor unit to the outdoor unit, what does it do? Well, the integrated circuit turns on this LED. The electrons are derived through here. This LED turns off and from the outdoor unit, with the 5 volts, that pulse is produced and the microprocessor understands it. This happens at different times. First they give time to one, then to another, and wait one, another, and wait, one, another, and wait. And that is what we saw recently in the voltage that appeared to us over time. One, another, and wait, one, another, and wait. And this is how communication is produced. Units that work with higher voltages, that work between 30 and 50 volts, do so so that if the cable is slightly defective, the cable does not cause any problems in communication. If we talk about a voltage of 3, the cable has to be in very good condition to work well. What are the most common causes of communication failures? For example, a cable in poor condition, with splices or joints. The S cable must be in perfect condition. And if you notice that there is an error in the communication, but that voltage variation is present, it may be that even though there is that pulse, the units are not understanding each other. Something you can do is, say this is the S terminal. You can add an extra cable, apart from the signal cable that it already has and try to do it outside, away from the L and N cables. It is known that this generates a magnetism around the cable due to the high amperage consumed by the compressors. So try to pass a separate cable, a 1.5 millimeter cable, a section of 1.5 or 2 millimeters. Do not use coaxial cable, do not use anything strange, only copper cable. Make sure it is in good condition, Use a 1.5 or 2 millimeter copper cable in section, that is, thickness, square millimeters. 
This is a great test that solves many communication problems. Replacing or adding that signal cable is sometimes not the easiest thing because passing a cable from the indoor unit to the outdoor unit is not easy. But sometimes it is the solution. Perfect. This is what has to do with the communication signal. This is how it is checked, how it is solved, how it is tested. Following tracks with patients, making these measurements, and you will detect any of those problems. One more thing to keep in mind, when you find a terminal with F1 and F2 cables, and use two cables to communicate, in general these units, which are usually the larger Samsung units, are using a different communication protocol. What does this mean? That communication is through a previously established coding. This means that the integrated circuits are communicating through a protocol, that is, they are communicating through a language established by another person. Different from the signal cable we talked about today, it is designed by each manufacturer with that pulse. In this case it is more complex because if the communication signal fails, it is not usually the cable because the cable is included. In addition, they are very complex signals, very deep. So it is much more complicated to be able to measure. In case of communication failures in these units, in general, one of the two boards is damaged. In that case, they are damaged and no longer work. This is so that you know it exists, take it into account, know that it can appear to you, and do not be in the dark. Very well, this is what has to do with the communication signal. Let's keep moving forward. Please leave a comment if you have any questions.